Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 19, 11 to 28. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, A man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards returned. He summoned ten of his servants and gave them ten pounds. Do business with these, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots detested him and sent a delegation to follow him with this message, We do not want this man to be our king. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money, to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in a very small thing, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To this one also, he said, and you shall be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you, for you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown? Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return I could have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, Take the pound from him and give it to the man who has ten pounds. And they said to him, But sir, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to everyone who has will be given more. But from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Use them or lose them. I tell you, to everyone who has will be given more, but anyone who has not will be deprived even of what he has. In today's gospel, we notice that the king gives to the servants and two servants give back more than what the master gave. Though the numerical value is different, what is important is change has occurred. In order for the servants to give back more, the value must change. Many of us believe that today's scripture is asking us to give materially or even give with our talents. The message at the heart of the scripture is that whatever God gives us, he wants us to increase its value by using it. God gave us the ability to love so that when we love, he multiplies the love within us. God gives us wisdom so that the more we exercise wisdom, the more it grows within us. Use them or lose them. Are we using the immaterial things God has given us? Are we increasing the amount of all God's graces by simply using them? Holy Spirit, show us the way to grow all that God has planted within us. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.